Thank you for joining me for this little spiritual update. I've been thinking a lot about something. I want us to consider it for a minute. Are you and I, are we accidents? <laughs> or did somebody make us? Now, when you think about that, that controls a lot of the decisions we make in life, doesn't it? So let's think about it for a minute because uh, I think there, that there's actually proof uh, that somebody loved us and made us. And my, my thought process goes like this. You look at four basic things that, to me, speaks to the fact that God exists. Okay, those four things are, first of all, it's this world. Look at the way it's made. I think back to the very first time uh, on our first uh, grandchild, uh, Joe Jackson, my namesake. I heard that little guy crying. They walked out uh, from the delivery room and they put my grandson in my arms. And I can remember looking down at him and honestly his eyes went just like this to me. And it was almost like he was saying, Coach, let's get it on. What a great feeling. Today when I see him, he's 14 years old. All the fun things we do, we're just at the beach. He's driving a jet ski for the first time. But the feelings I have for him, uh, the fact that we have men and women, the ability to love each other, uh, we look at this world, uh, the fact that we have the plants that put off the oxygen that you and I breathe. All of these things say what to us? We have a marvelous world that's crafted and it is perfect in so many ways. When you stop and think about that, we can't find another earth like this anywhere. We're going to Mars, but actually they're telling me we're going to spend a billion dollars to go to Mars. We're not looking for people. <laughs> that we're going to try and find out if they have moisture on Mars. Now for me, I don't really give a flat if there's moisture on Mars. Uh, but the point is, we can't find another Earth like this. So the first point that I think um, uh, states a fact that there's a God exists. It took a God to make this. This can't be an accident. The Earth cannot be an accident. So the world around us, I think, is proof that God exists. The second part of that proof is what I've seen God do in others' lives. I use an example, one of my best friends, Don Bro. We got together coaching uh, in 1967. He was, we were both at Florida State, and I kind of took a look at Don's life at that point. He was pretty much focused on himself. Uh, his language uh, was not exactly uh, what you would say is wholesome language. The relationship with Harleen, his wife, his children. And so I had a chance to watch his life and watch him. And then we separate from each other and come back together two years later at Arkansas. And I looked at Don and his life and his life had totally changed. His language, his relationship with his wife, uh, the relationship with his kids, his priorities in life. And I asked Don, I said, Don, Oh my gosh, what's happened to you? And he said, Joe, I gave my life to Christ. And so I do not think that as individuals, we can do that and change our lives that easy. But I think God can. And I think as I watch others that have given their life to Christ, the dramatic turnaround that they have in their life, I think is proof that God exists. The third thing I offer to you to prove that God exists is the fact that uh, my life, and what I've witnessed in my travels over this 71 years and what I've seen God do in my life. Uh, it was an easy decision for me at nine years old. I had to make the first big decision in my life. In school I was being told that I was an accident, that two amoeba happened to hit in a muddy puddle of water two billion years ago and I was the result. And yet in church I was being told something totally different. My mother and grandmother had me in church in church, that pastor was telling me something totally different. There was a loving God who looked down, knit me together in my mother's womb. He made me special and different, and he wanted to have a personal relationship with me. I got up and went forward uh, in church, and really here's what I said. God, I know that I'm no accident. I know that you made me. I want to have a personal relationship with you. I want you to come into my life, forgive me of my sins, and be my Lord and personal Savior. And from that point on, uh, what's really documented in this book, Game Plan for Life, 
Uh, my story is weaved through there. And it shows you in areas like finances, where I had a real struggle. Occupation, my occupation where I had a real struggle. Health issues where I had a struggle. And each one of those, the way God led me through those struggles and all the things He's blessed me with. And so as a witness to others, my life, when I give my testimony, is what God's done in my life. So that's the third thing I think that proves that God exists. The fourth thing uh, to me is God's Word, the Bible. When you think about this book and the fact that it was written by 35 authors, more than 35 authors, over a period of 1,500 years, okay, is that possible? For 35 different guys to write a book over a period of 1,500 years and for it to be perfect from the beginning, okay, Genesis to Revelation, it's been perfect. This book said that the world was a globe when everyone thought it was flat, thought the world was flat. This book told us that there was going to be an Israel when there was no Israel. This book had hundreds of predictions in the Old Testament that came true in the New Testament. This book is a miracle book, and I think it's proof that God exists. So if you think about that, let's think about it for a minute. Those four key things, this world and the way it's crafted, could that be an accident or did somebody make it? What I've seen God do in others' lives and the way He's dramatically changed others' lives around me, is that possible that they did that themselves? Or is it proof that God exists and what He can do in others' lives? What He's done in my life is a testimony as I've seen Him work in all the different areas of my life and lead me through adversity at times. Bless me with kids and grandkids and all the great feelings and, that I have for them. Okay, in my life, my life's a testimony, I think, that God exists. And then, of course, in His Word. If we take a look at those four things, I think we have to come to a conclusion, okay, that there is a loving God. That, to me, is proof that God exists. I don't think all of this is an accident. I think there is a loving God. And if that's the case, then I think the question for you and I is what? <laughs> is He the Lord of our life? Have we given our life to Him? Okay, is there a loving God that is all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-loving? If that's the case, then we need to be doing what? Letting Him lead our life. And so really, I just want to kind of share with you for a minute, that's what Game Plan for Life is all about. We believe there is a loving God. We don't believe that we're accidents. We believe that there was a loving God that made us special and different and wants to have a personal relationship with us. And He wants us to have a great life. And so Game Plan for Life, really what we're trying to do is through the website and materials, and through our testimony speaking, what we're trying to do is reach out to the world. And so there's a loving God that loves each one of us. He wants to have a personal relationship with you. And if you invite Him into your life and ask Him to forgive you of your sins, you can have somebody that's all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-loving leading your life. That, to me, is what Game Plan for Life is all about. You know, if we believe that God exists, then we need to be studying His Word. And I think back to, to Psalms 1, verse 2. And basically it says this, Our delight is in the law of the Lord. And on His law, we should meditate day and night. We should be studying His Word. And so really, Game Plan for Life, that's really what Game Plan for Life is trying to do. Spread that message and ask you, are you studying God's Word? Now, as a part of that, we want to make it easy for you and we want to supply you with some materials. Number one, we have a little New Testament study Bible. Okay, this is an NIV version. It has 14 little topics in it. Okay, and those topics are about God, Jesus, reward, sin, all those key topics that you may want to know and read about. It takes you on a little common sense study through His Word. And we'd like to send you this little New Testament study Bible free. 
So if you contact us at GamePlanForLife.com, okay, you'll see on there how you can sign up to get a little free New Testament study Bible. We'd like to send that to you. So that's first. We'd like to send that out to you. We want you to make you aware of Game Plan for Life, the book. You can get this in your bookstores. You can go to the website, find out where you can also get that. We've also finished a Game Plan for Life small group study. Lifeway has it in all the Lifeway stores, and you again can go to the website. This is a small group study. Your church, uh, a group in your neighborhood, you may want to take a look at this small group study. It's got 11 topics in it that were laid out in the book. Uh, I think it's got some great video intros that are done here at the race shop. It's based around racing, and it's based around football. We did a lot of the intros on the football field. So this is a little uh, New Testament study Bible. Uh, I mean, new, this is a uh, game plan for life. Um, small group study. I think you'll enjoy. The other things I want to make you aware of, we're coming out with two other uh, printed materials that will come out in August. One of them is going to be a devotional. And um, I think that you'll really enjoy it. It's 40 different devotionals that we've kind of laid out different times in my life where I've had inspirational things happen to me and we put 40 of those that will be coming out in a little devotional. The other thing that we're going to have and we're really excited about, I want you to make you aware of, that will be coming out in August. All of this will be from uh, Zondervan and this is going to be a Game Plan for Life Bible. It's going to have excerpts from our um, Game Plan for Life book and it's going to be laid out in God's, God's Word, the Bible. So I wanted to make you aware of all those. We want you to kind of share with us, okay, um, this great plan that God has laid out for us. Uh, we want to make it easy for you. We want to supply you with some of these materials. Uh, we're hoping that you'll go to GamePlanForLife.com. I really appreciate you being with me today. Just a few things I wanted to share with you from my heart. We have an all-powerful, all-loving, uh, all-knowing God that loves us so much that He was willing to sacrifice His only Son for you and I. And He says He would have done that had it only been you or me on this earth. Thank you for joining me.